Hey guys, how are you doing this morning? It's great to see you all here again. This is, of course, your regular dose of raw news and analysis. But before we move on and start getting into the details of today's video, huge thank you to you guys for always supporting the channel. And if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. And if you hit that notification bell, it would really help me and you stay up to date with all the royal news. So we're going to get started. We're going to jump right into this thing. Prince Harry has lost any veneer of respectability after he dragged ordinary citizens into his expose of secrets in his memoir Spare. And he and Meghan will increasingly be treated like bog standard celebs. This is new royal views from commentator Dan Wooten, who says he expected the Duke to use this book to blast his enemies, including Mr. Wooten, who he calls a sad little man. But he says running the lives of ordinary working people in the process is too much, and he is now predicting that the reputation of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will decline even more. His comments after Sasha uh, told her side of the story about taking Prince Harry following the feverish speculation since the release of the book. Mr. Wooten says Prince Harry has only himself to blame for her giving the account of what happened. She told Mail on Sunday, I didn't invite any of this attention, but I know the hunt would have kept going until people found me. He could have said he lost his virginity and left it at that, but he described how it happened in a field behind a pub. That's fine if you're not the other person involved, but if you're me, then you suddenly feel as if your world is getting a little bit smaller. Royal commentator Dan Wooten says that the deluded Duke should never be able to complain about people telling their version of events after the tissue of half-truths and downright distortions he's expected us to swallow in recent months. He says that in spare, people might have expected Prince Harry to get vengeance against people in the media and to take pops at his brother William, but he should not have thrown private citizens like Mrs. Walpole to the wolves. Mr. Wooten said, while Harry might have successfully sought vengeance, especially against his media enemies and brother Prince William, and have oodles of money to fund his extravagant lifestyle forevermore, any veneer of respectability is now gone, meaning that he and Meghan will increasingly be treated like bog standard celebrities. I predict Harry and Meghan's reputation will only decline further as their proximity to the royal family fades and they will be remembered as the embittered and gossipy ex-royals. He added, the royal family's previously unbreakable internal cone of silence, so important to the late Queen, has been smashed. Even the liberal lovey oversharers in the Hollywood establishment featuring Harry and Meghan's so-called new pals can surely no longer trust him to keep his big trap shut. The GB News presenter's comments come after sources told the Daily Telegraph that Meghan Markle might have raised concerns about whether Harry's memoir was the right thing to do. So what do you guys think about this news? Do you think that Dan Wooten's prediction might be true? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let us know what you think. And until next time, guys, have a great day and we'll see you soon.